Hi guys, my name is Jay Nero. I'm the uh, coach, the esports coach of SAF Global Gaming. And currently we are doing a highlight video on Cameron Rock, which uh, equals uh, SAF Cameron. And he is the player for Aston Villa. Aston Villa is the Premier League club. He performed for them in the E Premier League. We had a small stream for Aston Villa on their YouTube channel and on their Twitch channel to play against viewers, play against fans in general. And we're gonna highlight all the stuff that happened right there. And I'm gonna coach you through it so because I wanna make you a better FIFA player at the end of the video. All right, we're gonna see the first game of Cameron. Let's hop in there. All right, what you can see right here is that Cameron straight from the get-go goes with a motion play. So what he does is he creates motion with his players. So he he, he goes forward a lot quicker than uh, most players. See, as you can make you can make people make runs. You can make your players make runs, and you do that with the L1 button. So if you play a pass and you actually play the pass with the L1 and X button. You make, you make your players go run forward. And that's what he does a lot. You can see that over and over happening a lot more within the next few minutes that we're gonna continue this video. We're currently in minute 10, and as I just explained, with the motion creation, as you've seen, Atal making a run forward, where uh, he created his motion, he played the through ball, and what his opponent did really well is he moved his goalkeeper with the R3, with the R3 stick. So he sort of moved his goalkeeper all the way to one side, and that made Cameron have to, has to choose between corners. And yeah, he picked the right one. So that was a good adjustment because he couldn't defend it anymore. So it's important to adjust yourself as in what is an option and what isn't an option. So that's good. It's very, very well done from Bill. Alright, as you can see, he's playing Neymar in, and Neymar makes a run forward, just like we said before, as in the motion creation. You'll see Cameron doing that a lot, because the game is very still, it's very balanced. He makes his players run forward. Sometimes you come into a situation where you, you find yourself very 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 still and your your players aren't really making the movements you want them to sometimes it has to do with custom tactics sometimes with instructions sometimes with the work rates of your players sometimes with the creativity the ai makes so yeah cameron is using mbappe ronaldo neymar the high tier players so they will automatically make those runs a lot more in comparison if you're playing with someone yeah a little lower rated right here you can see him with mbappe and his opponent with Campbell, his opponent Campbell is running towards Mbappe and Mbappe has got loads of space to work with in behind of Campbell and also towards his other striker. As Cameron is playing 4-4-2, he's got two strikers, so he's able to go either way and use his other striker to play a little bit of one-twos. And uh, with the little arrow, He's using the bridge or the directional nutmeg. Let's see how he does that. He does a he does a bridge right there into the space, so in behind the Campbell. And what his opponent done well is he didn't really step forward. He pushed forward a little bit, dared Cameron to go into that gap he was leaving and then pushed him to his side. So that was perfectly done from his opponent. After that, he made a little mistake. As you can see, uh, Cameron has turned back with Mbappe. He, st he stood still and you can see Cam Campbell, the uh, defender, you can see him stepping in. So Bill actually pressed the circle button to make a tackle on Mbappe, which obviously left him a little bit confused. So 
that's a more of a panic tackle, which is what I call that. All right, so you've just seen Cameron do a bridge move into the space. Then he stopped and made himself available as in towards the goal, looked at his opponent. His opponent was kind of panic tackling, as I explained before. You could see Campbell pushing out, trying to get to the ball, but didn't really get to it. Cameron went back inside into this little space where we were before. And Ronaldo is actually like looking with his, with his face towards Mbappe. You can see Mbappe pointing out as well, pointing out as in, I want to move forward. I want to make a run. As I marked it with the graphics, you can see the little circle behind Cannavaro. Bale did that really well. Bale as in the opponent, <laughs> not the football player, but the opponent, he moved his uh, analog stick. So he, he mentioned Cannavaro and he was as in the, the tr little triangle above his head, you can see him be in Cannavaro. So he wanted to close down the space, because where would the space be? The space would be in behind the Cannavaro. If we let the play go, if we press play, then you can see Cameron actually turning to the open play and then turning back to the side where he came from. And he did that really well with the last bit of a ball roll. If I pause it a small second before the last skill move, he did a heel to heel to catch the opponent off guard. And yeah, the opponent went a little bit pushed backwards because of the heel to heel. And then the angle wasn't really correct to get the shot off. He was more of facing towards the, like the byline instead of the goal. So what he smart, what he did very smart was he did a ball roll to open up the little angle and he shot it far post. So that's why angles are very important in FIFA. As most of you already know, you can shoot from any uh, position, but not always it's gonna go in. So it's very important to find the right angles from for yeah for the right players as in a ronaldo will obviously finish a chance like that a lot easier than someone with lower finishing okay so the moment ronaldo receives the ball you can see me with the graphics pointing out that the little triangle above his head the opponent is controlling renato sanchez right now he's not actually defending with one of his defenders. So he does that really well. What you notice in, in, in most games is where you pull out your defenders a lot. You're defending forward. You're running towards your player from the front side. And sometimes that leaves gaps in behind, as in the, the, the circles on the pitch will show that a lot. And he did it really well, but he had to tackle up with Renato Sanchez instead of switching back to one of his defenders and move forward. The fact that he moved forward gave Cameron the space to work with. So you can see that in a little bit as well. Okay, so right here, Cameron is moving with Mbappe. I paused it for a small second. You can see his opponent controlling Campbell. So it's a 1v1 defending situation. He did that, the opponent did that really well, but the the, the second Cameron was doing a few skill moves left or right to test the water, if that makes sense. He's trying to see what his opponent is doing. So he's trying something. You can see his opponent switch players to Cannavaro. And that's the moment where Cameron immediately went for it. He does the drag back and goes for the shot. And that leaves him into the space because the AI won't they, they, they will intercept the ball, but they won't tackle the ball. And that's where AI blocks come in very handy. A lot of people know that AI blocks are very overpowered in this game. So AI blocks work really well, but actually tackling the ball holder, they won't do that for you. So be careful with your player switching because the, 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 yeah, the, the player switching he did, his opponent didn't work in his favor because he conceded the second goal right there. Alright, you can see his opponent moving in with Drogba. I'm gonna pause it real quick with the graphics going in. You can see Cameron playing the 1v1 with Kyle Walker, his center back, versus DJ Drogba, the striker of the opponent. And where the graphic shows is Drogba is facing the other striker making the run. You can see the other striker making the run, and he's got the option of left 
All right. The game is very assisted, as in you've got your pass in assistance. The AI will help you with that. The AI will make the run. You'll play your pass, and the pass will go left or right for, of the player, of the opponent. So you can see the two arrows. You can see an arrow pointing straight forward, and you can see an arrow pointing a little bit more downwards. Where would the space be? It's very easy. Cameron is pulling out his center back, just like we talked about a little bit earlier. You can see a big gap opening up, as in the line isn't really straight. It's more of uh, like, yeah, it's, it's more an opening. And that's where he's going to use it. As in, if we would play it forward, and I'm going to press play right now, you can see Drogba making the pass. You can see Royce getting the touch in. Perfect pass, perfect play. You can see the confusion in Camera's face. As in, he didn't really expect him to play the pass right there. And it, it worked perfectly. So yeah, well played. Great goal. You can see Cameron playing his motion plays again. So Theo Hernandez has the ball. I'm going to pause it on the graphics. So what you noticed is Cameron creating space for himself. He pulled out like his left back into more of a left winger spot, as in Cameron played the motion pass, as we talked about. He played the through ball to Theo Hernandez. So he pulled the opponent's defenders towards the one side and that leaves a little bit of a gap in between the defenders of the opponent you can see Campbell again Campbell stepping in forward leaving a little gap in behind you can see a line of three defenders instead of four and you can see the big space where Ronaldo is going to come in because Ronaldo is currently offside you can see Cameron thinking okay how do I get into the space behind Campbell or should I wait and should I play it to Ronaldo, who's going to come onside in a, in a little second. The moment you can see Ronaldo coming onside, I'm going to press play right now. The moment Ronaldo is going to come onside, he's going to play it. I'm going to pause it instantly again. And you can see Cameron a little bit of a wiggle, going left to right, waiting for his opponents, thinking, OK, what can I do? What could I do? Where is he going? What is he doing? So it's a proactive versus a reactive situation. And Cameron is more of a proactive player. He's, he's actually making the moves himself. But in this situation, he's waiting. He's waiting on Cannavaro, pulling himself out. If I'm going to press play right now, you can see him wiggling left to right, facing Cannavaro. Instantly, Cannavaro is going to pull a little bit towards Ronaldo. And he's doing the reverse elastico into the space and gets the first time shot off. And that's a perfect example right there. You can see Cameron doing the, the, the little motion creation again with Mbappe and then with Bruno Fernandes as well. So it is a continuous motion. Every single time he's getting the ball, every single time he wants to push forward, he wants to create something. So he plays this from the left side back to the center side, but he's going with motion play. The moment Ronaldo gets it, we just spoke about proactive and reactive, where the opponent is playing a 1v1 defensive situation with Gunter against Ronaldo. It's obviously a, a very tough matchup, as Ronaldo has the skill moves, he has the weak foot, he's got everything set. And yeah, he, his opponent done, done this really well, because he went for a reactive defensive motion right now. He's waiting for Cameron to do a skill move. He's waiting and waiting. And the moment Cameron does his final skill move and gets the shot off, if I press play right now, he's wiggling the stick. He does the elastico. His opponent went for it, went to the left side and defended the, defended the shot with a, with a block. Perfectly done. All right, we're in minute 53 right now. I'm gonna pause it right here on the graphics. And what you notice right there is his opponent is controlling Campbell. I pointed it out. You can see the little triangle above his head. Campbell is completely out of position. Didn't we speak about this beforehand in the first half? Yes, we did. It's happening, it's happening over and over and over. 
that's something his opponent needs to work on really well because I think he's defending good, but the fact that he's pulling out his players consistently doesn't really help him because he, he leaves a, a ton of gaps, as in the, the, the big circle is pointing that out. Let's go back to the little skill move Cameron did. He did a uh, La Croqueta cancel to get himself into the little space. What does that mean? The Croqueta, everybody knows the famous Frankie de Jong versus uh, Modric situation in the uh, Champions League game, uh, Ajax against Madrid. That's exactly what a La Croqueta is. And he cancels it at the end or mid the skill move, mid skill move. And he canceled, canceled it with the R2 and the L2 button at the same time. You can try that yourself in the arena, maybe in, in games. You can cancel every single skill move. So you can cancel Elasticos, Croquetas, anything. Um, he creates the space right there. He knows where the gap is and that's where he's gonna go. But he, he's looking at the little triangle, seeing where he's gonna go. Let's play the game on. And let's see what he does. He does a he does a a very nice elastico, exactly what we pointed out. But he does the elastico right there to get himself into the space. I think that is something to point out. Some people do skill moves just to do the skill move. Cameron does a skill move to get into the space, into the area where he wants to go. I think that is very important when you're learning your skill moves. You want to know where the skill move ends. So if you do the elastico the other way, it's not going to end in the, in, in the gap. And yeah, this is a perfect example of this. Right here, we've got a counter play from the opponent of Cameron. If I pause it for a small second where Royce has it on minute 66.45, you can see the, the, the directness his opponent is doing in his counter, which is, which is done really well. How do we break this one down? You can see Cameron focusing with Reese James and he's defending the center of the pitch. Because if you think about it, football is played by scoring goals. You want to score goals. Who wins? It's, it's depending on who gets the goals. The goal is in the center of the pitch. So what side, what part of the field do you want to defend? Do you want to go to the sideline or do you want to defend the center of the pitch? I would rather defend the center of the pitch. So what Cameron does really well, most people would go forward just like his opponent did in the first half and in the second half. You can see him pushing out with defenders. Remember what I explained? If you push out, you leave gaps in behind. So what Cameron does, he stays in the center of the pitch, lets Royce, comes, let, lets Royce come to him instead of him pushing out with Reese James towards Royce. So he does that really well. If we play it, three, two, one, go. And then you can see Royce trying to do a few skill moves. I'm gonna pause it on the moment where Cameron switches player. If you can look at the little triangle above uh, the defenders, you can see Cameron controlling Walker instead of Reese James right now, even though the ball is on the sideline with Royce. So he's actually defending the center of the pitch, lets the AI defend the little skill moves his opponent is doing. And the second his opponent is pushing inside and trying to beat the AI defender, he quickly switches back to, to the other, uh, other defender, Reese James, and then catches him off with a small tackle. Uh, I'm gonna play it right there. Quickly switch the play, voila, easy catch, plays it back to the goalkeeper and recycles. Here we go. As I pause the video, the moment Drogba has the ball, the moment Drogba receives it, you can see that his opponent's Neymar is making a run in behind. The, like, you, you can see the, the little space, like the little space, the big space Neymar can create with his run. Cameron spots that really well. Cameron switches player to Tio Hernandez, his left back, and he actually catches Neymar off guard, as in he sprints in front of him. What the opponent needed to do is he needed to react 
to camera and player switching and not play the through ball right there. Everyone is for, like is thinking you're 4-1 down, minute 74, you're gonna rush it. That's something you don't wanna do. If you think about it, a game is 90 minutes long. If I'm gonna play quick passes, is the timer gonna go quicker? No, it's not. The game is still gonna be the same time. So it's gonna be six minutes a half. It's not gonna go by quicker. So keep your composure, keep keep your plays going. Don't start rushing everything because you're gonna go play those true balls, which are never gonna happen. You're never gonna get there. So watch the runner, watch the triangle above his head and make the right play and just keep the ball with Drogba. If you can just keep dribbling, you can see uh, the moment Drogba plays the pass, if you look downwards, there is another runner. Instead of the right winger, Neymar, making the run, you can actually just play the pass with Drogba downwards to the left-sided player and make the run in behind. Because there is going to be the space. That's the space Cameron is going to leave. All right. Cameron is playing the ball inside with Joao Concello on the way to Renato. And if you go uh, look at the player lock Cameron is doing, everybody knows the new player lock uh, yeah, movement we have in uh, FIFA 21. We have, we have the player lock, which is pressing the R3 button and the L3 button at the same time. Cameron is controlling Ronaldo. If you look closely, his opponent is controlling Vidal. Why would you run towards the ball if you've got a runner in behind, make, like creating space? So what I usually say is don't defend the ball at all times, defend the space where the opponent wants to go. So take charge of everything. If we play the video through, you can see the timing and I'm gonna pause it the moment the graphics gonna come in. You can see the timing on Cameron playing the through ball perfectly. Vidal steps out. Cameron goes a little inside, a little bit inside with Renato Sanchez to create the, the space into the pass. Ronaldo goes for it, plays it, is true. You're never gonna catch him. You're never gonna catch him again. And he gets the finish off. Perfect. All right, as you can see right here, and I'm gonna pause it real quick. Cameron is in minute 88. It's almost end of the game, but he's still pushing up. He's very aggressive. He's playing very high up. Bruno Fernandes is literally on the feet of Renato Sanchez. He's playing very aggressive, as I said. His other strikers, his attackers, so Mbappe and his left winger are pushing up as well. You can see me pointing out with the arrows as I'm gonna play it through. I'm gonna press the play button. He's switching players. And I'm gonna pause it again real quick. You can see uh, Tio Hernandez. So his left uh, left back, I think, is playing left wing a little bit and he's pushing up. You can see the other triangle. So uh, the indicator, which is on Mbappe. Mbappe is making our little run towards the upper side. And you can see me graph, like using the graphics on the players, which are actually locked on to uh, each other and helping him into the press. So if you pause it for a small second and you need a little a little longer right there, you can see uh, the amount of players Cameron has in the opponent's half and the panic it creates on the opponent because there is literally a free pass forward to his right winger. He's not using it. He's trying. He's still trying to build up short plays, short passes, which is all covered. Cameron has that done really well. He's switching players consistently, puts players into the right positions and creates like the, the, the manual press, how we call it. The other bad thing about this manual press is he leaves the big gap all the way forward. Like his opponent could play a easy pass to the striker. He doesn't use it. That's the opponent's fault right there. Cameron does this really well. He defends it and gets the interception perfectly. We've 
just seen the first game of Cameron. I think it's smart to just hop into the second le to the second game and see what happens in there. We're in game two, where Cameron is playing the second uh, player, and I'm gonna pause it straight there because. Cameron did the quick motion play with Ronaldo. So what you can see, and the same thing happened in the first game. Do you remember where people are, where, where his opponent was dragging out his center back forward? Exactly this points out again. So Cameron does the motion play with the L1 movement. You can see Mbappe being offside, so he's not able not able to use Mbappe for the one-two. So what he does really smartly, he uses Atal because Atal is in vision for the quick one-two, drags the center back out of play, gets the one-two really quickly, and gets the easy shot off. Perfectly done. As a defender, what you want to do is you want to stick to your position and get into the space with a different player, stick to the center back position. If you drag out your center back, it's already game over. You lose so many games just by dragging your center back out. Let's go for the second attack of Cameron. He went for another 1-2 situation where I'm gonna pause it the moment the graphic starts pulling in again. Cameron went with his back towards the goal and you can see Cameron doing that a lot more, a lot more often. He does this where he has his back against the goal, he's wiggling his stick left to right, seeing what his opponent is doing and the same thing happens again. He's using Cannavaro and he's pulling up He's pushing forward towards Mbappe. And you can see the circle coming up in your screen where the space is going to leave and the space is going to be for Cameron to push in. Cameron does this really well where he plays uh, a 1-2 situation where Cannavaro gets out of position and he gets the shot off near post. Let's continue the video. He's playing the 1-2 with Bruno, takes the first touch, gets the shot off with Mbappe. I personally think that uh, Mbappe has should have a little bit more trouble with the finish right there as the shot angle isn't really like perfect. His body isn't really in, in the shooting position, but yeah, obviously it's gonna be Mbappe. So it's gonna be a higher percentage of getting the goal eventually anyway. All right, right here we can see an attack from the opponent and I'm gonna pause it the moment the graphic starts going in again. Renato plays the ball straight forward into Mbappe's feet. What you gotta keep your eye on is the players selected. So Cameron is playing with Hernandez, more of as a left center back, right, in this situation. And his opponent is playing with Mbappe. So where would you want to go in this situation? You want to go into the space, because there is space in between the right center back and the right back, where I'm pointing it out with the big circle in screen. So what Cameron does really well, instead of what other people do, is push up to the player. He knows that his opponent is going to do a skill move, remember? defend the situation, defend the the yeah the way where your opponent wants to go instead of defending the actual ball instantly. So Cameron doesn't push up forward, he pushes up slightly backwards because he remembers, okay, my opponent wants to get into the space, so I'm going to defend the space instead of straight towards the ball. And you can see that happening if I'm going to press, press play right here. And I'm going to continue to play. Perfectly switch of players. Of course, he gets a little uh, a little bit of luck with the bounce. Mbappe pushes into the AI defender, but still, he defends the situation perfectly right there by not pushing up, but defending the space where the opponent wants to go. Done. All right, right here, we've got the third goal coming up from Cameron, where you can see him doing a lot of skill moves. If I pause it the moment where he takes the shot, 
where you can actually see him creating the space for himself. So if you look back, if we replay the goal again, you can see Cameron pulling out a ton of skill moves, which aren't the most useful skill moves. If you think about it, he's not really playing a 1v1 versus defenders, uh, versus a defender, but he's literally just doing the skill moves to see if he can drag out a center back from the opponent. And that's actually what happened. His opponent kept switching players. He kept trying to get to the ball, but also thinking like, I can't leave space in behind. That's the moment where Cameron stood still for a second, went inside, got the the angle of the shot and went for the finesse. And yeah, it's team of the year Mbappe. Like everybody, is, everybody knows that right now, his finesse shots are amazing this year. Oscar, one of our other pros, uh, impacts how people know him. He had this Mbappe card and it worked perfectly with uh, with the competitive plays on the finesse because he used it a lot of times. It's so useful this year. All right. Right here, we see a defensive error from Cameron. He's 3-0 up. Well, usually that, yeah, you, you get a little bit distracted. You're gonna be a little bit, yeah, you, you're gonna be somewhere else in your head. You're gonna think you've got the game in hand. And as we spoke about, instead of pushing backwards, he's dragging his center backs out forward. So what he does wrong instantly, he pushes out one center back, he gets the one, two. Lewandowski gets the motion play like we spoke about earlier. Then he pushes out the other center back, leaves him into a little space. Lewandowski is the team of the team of the year version. So obviously he's going to get a, a, a great shot off and he's going to end up top corner. So perfectly done from the opponent. And that's the defensive error from Cameron. All right, we've got a, another defensive action from Cameron. If I'm going to pause it, the moment Mbappe gets the ball into his feet, Lewandowski plays the motion pass into Mbappe's feet perfectly. Remember the motion pass with the L1X? Over and over and over. It's going to keep on happening. Opponents do it. You need to do it. Cameron does it a lot. Everybody needs to do it because the game will be very stale if you don't do it. So you need the motion plays. The moment Mbappe gets the ball, he's got a little dribble in, so that's done really well. Cameron drags out Reese James, so that's a little defensive error, but he wants to be a little bit more aggressive in the second half. And then you can see him switching to Walker, to the center, to the other center back, and instead of being overly aggressive, remember, he's defending the space where the opponent wants to go instead of defending straight towards the ball. So you can see if you go on with the video, you can see him walking slightly backwards with Walker instead of pushing straight forward towards the ball. Perfectly defended. Right, right here we've got Mbappe on the ball and Reese James played it into Mbappe's feet. You see the opponent's team pushing up a little bit more. It's 3-1 down, it's the minute, it's minute 73, and he, he wants to grab another goal. You can see the paws popping up in the, in the upper screen. So his opponent is a little bit more aggressive, is a little bit more pushing forward. Cameron makes use of that. So what he does is Reese James plays it into Mbappe. Mbappe takes the first touch. Straight after the first touch, we've got the directional, uh, directional nutmeg coming in. The directional nutmeg this year is probably the best skill move after they patched the bridge skill move at the start of the game. And the directional nutmeg literally gives you a little speed boost if you do it correctly and gets you the space you need to get your shot off. And yeah, sorry, this is going to be team of the year Mbappe. He ain't going to miss this. And if he does, it's not Cameron's fault. <laughs> so you can see the goal coming up. He does the directional skill moves, gets, uh, gets the space, gets the shot off. And you can see Cameron on his webcam saying sorry because he knows he done like an OP skill move, which is overpowered. Word. Most people hate it when it happens against him, and he knows it. So it's funny how he, yeah, how he reacted himself towards scoring a goal like that.
All right, here we are at the end of the game where uh, we're in minute 89. It's a 4-1 score. You can see everybody pushed up from his opponent. Cameron is literally doing what Cameron does really well. He turns his stick left to right, sees how he can turn his defender uh, left to right. The moment his defender stands still a little bit, Cameron turns around real quick, faces his opponent, gets the 1v1, and you can see the defensive line of the opponent. It's all over the place. It's a 4-1 game. It's totally understandable. It happens to everyone. But you can see Cannavaro all the way in the back, Van Dijk all the way out of position. Everybody's all over. Cameron does another skill move where he gets the Elastico into the space, into the open space. Remember what we talked about? You want to do a skill move, not just to be fancy, not just to, to do something funny, but you want to do the skill move which ends into the space where you want where you want to go. So he does the normal Elastico, gets into the space with all, gets the reverse Elastico straight after that because he has another situation where he's got his back towards Van Dijk, gets the reverse Elastico, another uh, skill move where he gets into the space where he wants to go and then gets the weak foot finish with all perfectly to end the game 5-1. GG's. All right, we've just seen two games from Cameron. Let's hop into the last one. All right, right here, Cameron's playing his third game. He's playing a player who knows the game very well too. Cameron defends this first situation, then plays a panic pass forward, loses the ball straight after. Then his opponent does a skill move. Cameron defends it again, loses it again. So that's a second sort of panic pass from Cameron. It's just a rushed pass where he just wants to go forward. What I would always say is whenever you defend someone, play the first pass either backwards or play it as safe as possible. Just play it to the guy next to you. Just play it like a 100% pass. You don't want to play a triangle pass usually because it's going to be in front of him. And if someone is pressing high, just like this opponent is doing, you're going to lose it straight after. So what Cameron made the mistakes right there, twice in a row. His opponent punished it by literally just pushing up a little bit, just by putting pressure on Cameron. Then he gets to the edge of the box. Remember what we spoke about, it's the directional nutmeg, nutmeg again. So the directional nutmeg into the space right behind the center back, gets the weak foot finish with Ronaldo, perfectly finished, top corner, GG's, great goal. All right, Cameron is 1-0 down. He's got to push up a little bit more. This opponent, by the way, was quite well. Probably the best of the the best of the, the, the whole stream. Um, right here, I'm going to pause it for a small second. So what happened in this attack was Cameron was going towards the left side of the playing field. He pushed his opponent's defenders towards that left side a little bit and waited for Atal to make the run into open play. You can see right beforehand where Neymar has the ball still, that Atal is offside, Ronaldo is offside. So Cameron, as Cameron does, and he did that before as well, he wastes a little bit of time. He keeps the ball, he does a, he does a few skill moves, distracts the opponent, and that's that's a perfect example. You gotta distract your opponent from what you're planning to do. You don't wanna let the opponent know what you're gonna do. If, if I'm gonna look straight forward at you, you're gonna know that I'm gonna yeah, go straight forward. So if I'm looking to the right side, I'm gonna eventually go left. That distracts the opponent. That's what I mean with it. So Cameron did that really well. He played it all the way forward to Ronaldo's feet when he came onside. Did the little turn and you can see right before uh, Atal receives it, Ronaldo takes the touch, gets the turn. Atal is literally in open space. His opponent tried to save himself on the bad defending with the goalkeeper movement, but Cameron finished it really well near post. So perfectly done. Well played from Cameron. All right, this is a more competitive match. So it's a 2-1 game, it's more even. So we're gonna hit straight to the to the, to the pointers where it's gonna be more important and the, the real highlights. Um, we're a minute 75, it's a 2-1 score. As you can see, Cameron has the ball with Ronaldo. 
he isn't in a 4-4-2. So he's got two strikers versus two center backs. He's playing the 1v1. Right now, he's making Mbappe letting like letting Mbappe making a run straight forward. He's not using him in the first place. He's using his winger where he drags out the center back. Mbappe is true. He gets the angle, gets the true ball. So if we continue the video, he plays the ball to his Neymar, then plays the true ball to Mbappe, which is in complete space. Pause it straight at the moment where Mbappe gets face to face with the opponent. Cameron does a fake shot stop. If something is really, really helpful for me, but for everyone, for Cameron as well, it's a fake shot stop. It's literally letting go of all the buttons of your joystick and just does do your fake shot. If you just perform the fake shot without any other controllers, not even your your yeah your sticks, you're gonna just stand still. And the moment you can stand still, your opponent is still moving. You can literally react to where your opponent is going. So you've got the uh, you've got a situation where Mbappe goes one on one with Varane, and Cameron is just waiting. Okay, where is Varane gonna go? Is he gonna go left? Is he gonna go right? He's gonna make a move. Let's go left and go for it. So he's gonna go reactive. Varane went right, Mbappe went left. Perfect example, weak foot goal, finish. Game over, 3-1. Well, guys, I uh, I hope you uh, you all enjoyed the video. I hope you all enjoyed the highlights of Cameron on his stream. Maybe even uh, some video footage as well. I hope you guys learned something and maybe use that in, in, in your own advantage in the future. And I know team of the season is coming up, so you guys might want some yeah some extra extra rewards, some better rewards. So get your gameplay going and you can create some fun for yourself because eventually that's what it's all about i want to say thank you to aston villa for having uh, the whole setup with us for having the communication with us and for helping cameron putting this all together and yeah i want to say thank you as well for uh, for, for watching right. my name is jay nero and i hope to see you next time <laughs>